let's get it in, good people. It's your boy Carcino here. And your boy LBJ. Man. LeBron James issued an apology. So, he issued an apology and said that the team would be better. And these are my thoughts on what he said. I want to say thank you to everybody who um, subscribed to the page, who hit the notification bell, all the people who have supported this page, and everything about it. You know, we want to keep everything in perspective here and just give you the best of what we got. Always. Thank you to all my Patreons. We will be updating the Patreon today, so stay tuned. And now we get into this. LeBron Ramon James issued an apology after not speaking to the media and walked out saying... I apologize. We will be better. And I'm here to say, I do not accept your apology. It's not accepted. Nothing you do is accepted here. You have single-handedly ruined the NBA. You did. And now it is recovering from all your destruction. Which finally showing some type of rep reciprocity or whatever they want to call it. And now. You want to come and ruin it. And now because it the game has passed you by. You can't let go. You right here once again in front of us. Coming up with more BS for the general public. Wow, oh, Brian, you look pathetic. And your fear and loathing in Las Vegas hat. <laughs> I don't know what's going on out here. I don't know why I'm losing. <laughs> what's going on, Brian? We don't accept your apology because you have a lot to apologize for that you're not sorry about. This is, this is what I told you guys about apologies, right? If someone's not literally sorry for what they did, what good is the apology? Nobody wants your stank ass apology. They want, they want to see you produce. They don't care about you apologizing. What you apologize. What's your, what an apology going to do? You want to apologize, get some wins. Start winning games. Start playing as a team. Start playing some defense. That's how you apologize to the fans. You think the Laker players care about your apology? You think they're going to say, oh, man, hey, man. He, that's all right, though. LeBron apologized, though. He know he's up. He apologized. <laughs> Are you apologizing for you ruining the NBA? Are you apologizing how you have – Swindled the league into making the world believe that you are the greatest NBA basketball player in the world. Are you apologizing for that? Are you apologizing for stealing money from the Los Angeles Lakers? Are you apologizing for ruining yet another team? Everywhere you go, destruction happens. You bleed a team of all they draft picks. They get it way high in the luxury cap. With all these over over the top players that don't mean anything anymore. So your apology is doo doo. He dropped this apology, and at the same time he dropped this apology, and everybody running all on his head. Then he gonna drop something about his wife to try to be a distraction away from the Lakers. Boy, you 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 are got some type of damage, son. Some type of mental damage. You put your own wife out there. You're going to keep playing. And one day she ain't going to. Your, your key ain't going to work. And I'm going to be in the house. <laughs> That's a low down dirty move, Brian. Ooh, look like she's ready and willing, boy. See, she's been working out. Mm, she is ready, ready, and ready to go. Yeah, 
Shoot. You keep playing around out here. You keep chasing those Beckys and Cindy's. I'll make sure everything okay at the house. Now, you're going to send your wife out here to distract everybody and take their attention away from the game. Do you know Laker fans didn't see women like this? A diamond does in this L.A. This is Los Angeles. They got women like this. Dime a dozen. They don't care about this. They care about wins. But did it win, though? All LeBron is doing, ladies and gentlemen, is his old routine. This is the old LeBron James shuffle. This is what him getting ready to do a distraction, all of these things here, so he can go ahead and make some trades and get rid of some people. See, Stanley Johnson just got signed again today to his third 10-day contract. Now, for you know, many of you who don't know the game of basketball and some of the rules, let me inform you on a little thing. That is illegal. Okay? That is illegal. You cannot, you can only do two. 10-day contracts of a same, of a player before you have to make a decision or making him a permanent roster or, you know, he's got to go. Can't bring him back more than two times on a 10-day contract. But what the NBA did for the Los Angeles Lakers is they allowed them a hardship, meaning like, oh, we didn't have enough players. So the Lakers was granted a hardship when they got 55 guards out there they were granted a hardship for the first 10 day, 10 day contract with Stanley Johnson. When they were at no risk of only having eight players, they were granted a hardship. So the first 10 day didn't count. And then they weighed Rondo out or got him out the way. So now they have a vacant roster spot. Plus his attitude wasn't all the way what they liked it to be at. So now they got that open roster spot. Now they could put Stanley Johnson there, but now you have no no wiggle room. So you ain't going to be able to make no moves by having him on the team like that. You see, so if you can't make the moves now, now you got an even bigger problem. Say a trade comes up. Now you got no nobody to wave. You have no available space that's open, that Rondo space. So now you got 10 more days of Stanley Johnson, so hopefully a trade opens up. So now you still have that open, you know, roster spot to play with. So this is all a chess move for them to get ready for a trade coming up within the next 10 days. The Los Angeles Lakers are in this situation because LeBron Ramon James. See, that's a winner right there. See that? Seven-time world champion. Seven times. And the reason why he's a seven-time world champion is because he knows what it takes to be a world champion. What it takes to remain a world champion. What the word world champion even means. He understands it. He doesn't shortcut the process. He outworks everybody. This guy, shortcuts. Only thing he work on is keeping his body looking, my body looking immaculate. So well, I can just run up and down. But he's not going to practice plays. He's not going to work on skill set. He's not going to do any of these things. All he's going to do Is play the magnet ball game. Meanwhile, his defense, defensive efficiency is the worst it's probably been in his entire career. Has not played defense. Looked very stagnant when he's dribbling the basketball. It's an embarrassment to watch him play. He's not, he's not a, 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 a pleasing player to watch play basketball. He's just not. 
He has no moves whatsoever. And the whole league has figured him out. He's done. It's like the game has passed you by. But rather than to give up that spotlight, he's hogging it. And all of these other players that's coming up, they're suffering because of popularity because of LeBron. If you look at Miami Heat and Cleveland, aren't they thriving right now? People's like, yeah, but look at what happened to them when LeBron left. Yeah, because he took all their draft picks away. He, he left them with bad contracts. So you got a team full of loaded with bad contracts and all of these players that kept them in the luxury tax every year to keep this guy happy. You have no draft picks. You didn't got rid of all of them to keep him happy. You got a lot to be apologizing for. And you got to be making good on these apologies because it's your fault for all of it. So if you're apologizing for your entire career on being a fraud, are you apologizing for being a charlatan? Are you apologizing for being a disgrace to the game of basketball? That I can accept. Anything else I can't accept. And I will not accept until you take full responsibility for your actions out there on the court. You're the leader. Had this been anybody else, if Steph Curry would have done that for one game, they would have executed him on every sports site forever. Right? Kevin Durant, done that for one game, decided he was going to take some plays off. Oh, no. They would have kept that going forever. Exactly. But he comes out here with Adam who said he's sick and he's exhausted from Black Lives Matter. But the guy who comes up with more than an athlete who came up with the slogan to use after LeBron stole it from the people that actually came up with the more than an athlete thing that they had to go to court over. He promotes getting drunk. So, yeah, he's great for kids. You see, this is this is the type of mentality we got to break out of poster boys. This is a poster boy for somebody who's supposed to care for the people. They play the role. Then when things get real and hot and they got to actually do something, they go, um, uh, I don't think we should move. And here's the thing about people like these. These are called gatekeepers. These people protect the gate and make sure nobody get in master's house. That's their job. They run interference. They do it all. Nobody can get in Master's house on their watch. They got to protect the gate. Because nine times out of ten, the real person don't even come to them at all. They don't need them. And they don't like that. They feel everything should go through them. Don't ever have an idea that's different from his, an opinion, and you don't fall in line and agree with him. He's the gatekeeper. If he's speaking, that's what the master thinks. Why go against the master? It's, it's not what he wants. It don't work. Right, Whether it's right or wrong. The master said, this is what we should be doing. Why is everybody questioning it? That's what a gatekeeper does. Is he apologizing for that? You know how many brothers that he didn't chop down because they didn't follow his way of thought process or whatever he thought in his mind should be the way to go knowing it was coming from up top and then people was hey man i ain't with this i think we should do this no 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 we should all fall in line <laughs> and then things get real when you on the fence and you got to make a decision and you can't make it you got to go go to adam your white advisor to tell you how to be black in this situation? That what you got to do? How, how, how should I approach this, Adam? How should, how should I, as a black man, deal with these black issues? I'm, I need your help, Adam. 
Let's even get more into this. The Miami Heat and the Cleveland Cavaliers will be in the playoffs this year. Yep, if everything stands the way it's going now, those two teams will be in the NBA playoffs. Isn't that very interesting? Without LeBron James being on the team, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. No LeBron James on the team. They are headed to the playoffs. Miami has been thriving after they rebuilt their team. It took some years. But they rebuilt their team and got back into contention. The Cleveland Cavaliers. Remember they had the brother GM. And he took the job for the Lolo. They paid him the low. He probably the lowest paid general manager in NBA history. Right? But nevertheless, nevertheless, being the lowest paid GM in the history of the game, look what they were able to build in Cleveland. Once they were able to get away from all of those bad contracts, this dude had J.R. Spliff, Tristan Kardashian making 80 and 40 million dollars. These are players that should have been getting two million dollars a year. You got them getting 30 and 80 million dollars. What kind of nonsense was that? Extorting Cleveland to pay, to pay that kind of money because they your buddy. Then you let the Los Angeles Lakers bring JR back. For what? They didn't need JR Spliff. They didn't need him on the team. You keep bringing in these relics because they're your buddies and keep getting them paychecks and bleeding out the Los Angeles Lakers. Now the Lakers don't have any draft picks. They traded away all their youth and all their young talent. All gone. Draft picks are going to be wiped out, and they're going to be stuck with bad contracts with all LeBron's friends on the team. And he's going to leave, retire, or go play for Cleveland one last year or whatever, or do whatever he's going to do. He should retire a Laker. Just let him retire where he is, because I don't live you Cleveland. Why the hell would you even bring him back? Let this guy go. He is your problem. And he's not the big draw no more. Everybody thinks like, oh, the Laker games is what people want to see now. People are not even watching LeBron like that. It's lies. They know that. That's why Steph Curry games go ahead of him. If Curry and them are playing, they want to see Steph Curry. Nobody cares about seeing LeBron James. They came here to play the Bulls. Nobody broke their neck to try to go to the game to see LeBron and the Lakers. They wanted when Steph Curry came here, that was like a rock concert. It's a major difference. A major difference. LeBron James' defensive efficiency is in the toilet. When LeBron, and y'all love to bring up this, oh, LeBron in his 30-point games. LeBron been scoring 30 in all these games. He's leading the NBA in 30-point games. What the hell does that got to do with what's going on here? What in the world does the world care about this dinosaur teeth bastard scoring 30 points up and having the most in the league? Another stat that don't exist that y'all making up for LeBron. So what? Do you realize that they are 10 and 9? They won game over 500 whenever he scored 30. So that's not the that's not the issue of the team. That is not the issue. So what is the issue you might say? If that's not the issue, what is it? Hmm? What is the issue? The issue is that guy doesn't play defense. They don't have a defensive identity. 
They don't trust Fogle as the coach. And when you don't trust the coach and you don't have an identity out there on the court, it is what it is. Well, you got a a lot of people out here in the world love to make excuses for people. This is the most excuse accepted era in the world. We accept excuses. LeBron apologized. Well, then, if he's so great, I've never heard Kobe sitting there talking about some I apologize or Jordan. I apologize. for Mike, Mike going to be like, we wouldn't be having this problem with Mike. <laughs> You ain't gonna never have Mike complain about giving some effort. You never gonna hear that. I don't wanna hear about no AD. I told you, I don't wanna hear about nobody and all of this stuff that they saying. I don't wanna hear it. The Lakers are trying to trade a guy who haven't played for them all season. Kendrick Nunn has not played for the Lakers, and they still trying to trade an injured man. Right, Magic Johnson had enough. Magic had enough. Like, look with Magic. After being blown out by the Nuggets, we as the Laker fans can accept being outplayed, but we deserve more than a lack of effort and no sense of urgency. Owner, Jenny Buss, you deserve better. Oh, Jenny deserves better. Woo. Jenny deserves better. I think basketball deserves better. Don't forget to like this video. The like button is free. Calls you nothing to hit it. The cash app is Carcino if you want to donate. Patreon is Carcino for life. Subscribe to the page if y'all new here. And that's what's up. Oh, yeah. Shouts out to Ed Kwame Brown, Bus Life. I love how he opened up the platform and let some of the people that uh, he never really talked to live. They got to get online and go in there and talk to him. You know, him and Mr. Skinny was doing their thing. Shouts out to them. Don't forget to follow. Welcome and welcome to HDTV. There's so many people out here, man. There's so many people. Because everybody wants to do their own platforms. Everybody want to have their own thing. And that's cool. You know, that's what you want to do. And more power to you. You know, keep everything moving. I never felt that. I needed to be the one to tell people what to do with their life.
or how they should perform or how they should move. I just give you my opinions on how I feel about the situation. Kwame Brown is doing the same thing. And the YouTube uh, people that's behind the scenes, they are controlled by these platforms. And he's going against powerful people in the industry. That's why he say the go along, get along game. And they turned their weapons of mass destruction on, Co I mean, on Kwame Brown and myself. Right now, I'm trying to get them to turn around just because I put Kwame Brown's name in a title with DJ Vlad. They coming with the same BS that they did with the other ones. Because Vlad got the power, like the rest of them, to tell them boys, hey, him right there, yeah. He attacking me, or I don't like what he said in the video. Or he got my name hashtagged in there and linked in. I don't want to be linked in to that video. Demonetize it. They could do stuff like that. They could say, oh, we can get a strike on this guy. They got people that work for YouTube that's in cahoots with some of these creators because they make money with them. And then they start doing all kind of nonsense on your page. And you're like, this don't even make sense. Well, y'all think Anthony Davis is the savior. <laughs> no, I'm I'm glad because what you're seeing here is what you're seeing here is all of the people who eat and crow. This is what they gotta do now. They gotta sit up here and they keep coming up with narratives of LeBron can't do it all by himself. He needs some help. Well, he ain't doing it all by himself. He costing the team. And I like him out there. Let him stay out there. Let him continue to fail. Let him prove. So, on that note, I'm going to get out of here. Like I said, don't forget to check out the Patreon, especially today. Got something very special that's going to be on there, so check it out. I'm out.